What's up, what's up everybody? If you are sitting there wondering what pack the statue in the front is from, that is not from pack. That is an RTA legend statue. The one in the back, that is from pack. That's for a hundred dollar pack. But the one in the front, you cannot buy that. That is from only for RTA legends. This is diligence count. He was season eight RTA legend. Currently he is ranked five in the world for this season. Um, we're not gonna take a look at his RTA runes. We're here on his account. We're not gonna take a look at his RTA runes because we can't unless we see his RTA stuff, which we're only gonna see his runes for like the rest of the game, the other 80% plus um, of the game. So just keep that in mind. I wanted to do a video showing uh, the runes on his account because there's a lot of people that have been asking me lately, Bail, how do I ruin this? How do I ruin that? How do I ruin this? How do I ruin that? Uh, tell me my how to ruin videos are old. And they are. They're kind of getting on in years at this point. Um, there's really no point in me redoing the how to ruin videos considering most people wouldn't care to watch them because they already know uh, all this stuff. So it benefits the early game players, but it doesn't really benefit uh, late game players who already know it. Uh, we're going to take a look at Diligence Runes. We're going to take a look at his account. This way, it will give people kind of an overall recap review uh, we'll discuss some of the rune builds uh, of just a lot of different units in general how they're rude and if you already know how to ruin every single monster in the game at least we could take a look at some op ld craziness with some insane runes on top of that so i feel like this should help every well not help everyone entertain everyone it'll be beneficial to everyone in some way or another either you look at LD5s and go, oh my god, he spent way too much money on this guy. He spent a excessive, 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 excessive. Um, but anyway, but we all ex spend excessive uh, money in, in, in Summoner's War, unless you're free to play, in which case I envy you. Anyway, let's take a look at this. Um, some things are... <laughs> let me disclaim this first. Some things are not quite ruined. So we'll just go over kind of how I would ruin them in general, when they look like this is garbage, uh, he's clearly not using this and is just. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, but this is obviously not rude. Uh, for pro, but I just want to like go over things in general. So if early game players uh, or mid game players that are coming back to the game don't know if things have changed, just to give you guys like a little recap. Uh, Praha generally fast on despair, either despair revenge. Well, actually. RTA people are doing Violent Will. Speed, crit damage, HP for RTA lately. Uh, sorry, not crit damage, crit rate. Speed, crit rate, HP for RTA lately. Uh, because she cycles uh, with her skill one, right? Increases her uh, her attack bar when it gets a critical hit. So, um, and then also additional damage in artifacts, right? So that's generally the, uh, the RTA build for this. For Arena or for other PV, like n other parts of the game, uh, generally, like despair, revenge, despair, uh, nemesis, fairly standard from what they were before. Speed, HP, HP, speed, crit rate, HP. Depending on if you want her to keep cycling turns with skill one, HP. If you feel she needs more tankiness, um, but I would go for speed. H. I would go for speed is most important. Speed, HP, defense, crit rate, and accuracy are the important stats on CR. She, uh, sorry, uh, Praha. Did I say CR? She doesn't need any uh, attack. She doesn't need any. She really doesn't need any crit damage either. Her resistance, she doesn't need too much because she has a resistance leader skill if you want to use it. But uh, if you're... Oh, if you're returning, Praha actually got better with her skill 3. Uh, so, yeah. Puts all enemies to sleep. But anyway, uh, moving on to Tetra. The cool thing about Tetra, I know he doesn't... Ha he has his rune on violent. You don't actually have to have this rune on violent. Speed, HP, HP. You could rune this for just anything to make her fast and tanky and good enough for resistance, right? That's that's all she needs, really. She could be on so many kind of wacky nonsense, um, especially those sets that, like, give everyone resistance. Uh, I think that she's actually not bad there. Uh, Nemesis is also not bad on Tetra as well. So, just fast, tanky. I like to have a little bit of resistance on mine. Um, the more resistance, the merrier, for the same reason people do resistance on Molly, just to make those passive cleanse heal kind of things uh, even more annoying. But... Just fast and tanky. Uh, I personally like mine faster than this. Yeah, I have my Molly fast too, um, but his is not uh, not too fast. But yeah, uh, Chow next. So Chow's basically this Chow is actually pretty efficient. He's got a lot. He's got forty three thousand HP. Um, 
And then he's got quite a decent amount of attack power, quite a decent amount of defense, quite a decent amount of speed. I mean, he's a speed, crit rate, crit damage. This is a beautiful Chow, actually. Fantastic stats. You want him, He's a tanky bruiser. You want to give him attack, you want to give him HP, uh, and you want to give him... This looks like it's just speed in subs. So attack, crit damage, uh, HP. And look at some of those tank... Some of those big, beefy 32, 31 there. Look at all those stats, man. I mean, Chow works uh, also really good on Nemesis, but you don't necessarily need Nemesis on Chow. But there you go. Those are some fat stats on this Chow. Uh, Varad. So basically, you just want to make Varad fast and good accuracy. How many people <laughs> do I see? I see people get this wrong. Um, just fast and good accuracy. That's basically it. Uh, yep. Violent Will. Speed, HP, HP. Fast and good accuracy. Looks beautiful. Not uh, anything too crazy. The extra accuracy here is probably what he was going for. He does damage sc uh, scaling on defense. I don't use him on crit damage or anything. Some people, I've seen some people do it, but it's very, it's very rare to see uh, crit damage. Um, Varad. Man, we should probably get going. We did a lot of monsters. Okay, Anavel. Just fast, good accuracy. Um, so, sorry, not good accuracy. Uh, fast, good HP, good. Well, actually, she needs quite a decent amount of stats overall. She doesn't really need crit rate, crit damage, in my opinion. But she could benefit from resistance and accuracy, because she has accuracy for skill 3, uh, would benefit her, and then accuracy for skill 1 for the sleep. And then she could proc more turns and proc more turns. Resistance, she's a cleanser, so generally cleansers and uh, revivers, um, you want to put decent resistance on them, right, for those support units. But she does heal based on her attack power, and then also she does need a bit of, uh, she does need a decent amount of speed. So he's got HP, HP, attack. I would suggest for most people to go like speed attack HP or speed HP attack or speed defense HP with attack and subs, stuff like that. Um, and here's, I don't think there's anything exciting specifically. Yeah, these look like not really anything special for these uh, artifacts. Uh, so next we have a Chandra. Chandra is pretty tanky. Chandra is uh, 56,000 HP. Oh, only 56,000. Um, Decent speed though, because that's definitely not speed in uh, speed on slot two. So this is the Chandra. Uh, that's mostly for guild content. Uh, triple HP. Yep, because we see it's not like crit damage or anything. Uh, got some crit rate. You know, crit rate benefits from skill one. Uh, increase attack speed, but just uh, despair and destroy. Very, 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 very tanky. And then uh, damage received from wind. I think he was. Well, I mean, obviously he was specifically going for that. But, uh, yeah, just, that's, that's pretty decent. Also, uh, just a note, I don't think he has the Water Bison, but Water Bison slash Water Slayer, I've seen people kind of ruin theirs like this. So, um, if you guys are curious on how, like, what the meta kind of thing, I don't think this, oh, at Revenge, I think, not Destroy for the Water Bison, though, because he already does Destroy. Uh, so this is looking like a... Violent Usa, because otherwise he'd be way faster. So speed, HP, HP, Violent Usa. Speed, HP, HP. Boom, boom. Violent Will. Crit damage plus 22%. That's a lot of crit damage. Uh, then we have Bastet. Bastet is Violent Will. High resistance. Um... No, oh, because that's a uh, that's something. I'm not sure why specifically he's doing it like this. He may have a. I'm sure he has a reason for doing it like this. Um, I'm gonna have to. You know what? If you know in the comments why people are running it like this, um, you can chime in. That's a that's a good one. Because I don't actually know why he's running slower on violent with high resist. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of why, but. For guilt content, maybe? I don't know. I I, I really don't know. Anyway, um, then we have Samoth. So Samoth is just on... This has got to be a... I like to have my Samoth faster than this. Ooh, kind of low on the accuracy, because you do want that to reset. So for a Samoth, uh, Kabila, Bastet, Lucian, or Samoth, Kabila, Megan, Lucian, uh, team, you want Samoth to move faster than this. Um, but for a team where Samoth is just like the intended purpose is for him to die, come back from the dead, kill things, and stun things, 
Uh, this works just fine. So attack or damage attack. Yeah, this is more of a turn two kind of Samoth thing. Not turn one. Because turn one, he would need to be faster and have better accuracy. So, uh, yeah, that's more of a turn two. Turn one Samoth would be about 50 speed faster, roughly, and then also have, you know, a few dozen more accuracy on there. Uh, Galleon, really the thing with Galleon, he just needs to be fast and have accuracy. There's not really anything crazy with Galleon. Speed defense, I, to be honest, uh, my Galleons don't even have uh, will runes or violent runes. I've just always just had uh, Galleon with just whatever nonsense. I just put a bunch of, whatever I can get, uh, speed, accuracy, and then just a bunch of other, uh, a bunch of other stats on him. So that's, uh, that's really all you need for Galleon. Accuracy is 95% there. Uh, Amelia. Amelia is looking like she's got good resistance too a lot of people like to put uh, high resistance on amelia but just fast and tanky aside from that fast and tanky uh, and she's on violent i used to see amelia's on swift actually violent is just a more standard build for but i used to see amelia's um for rta hmm, two years ago on swift for, like against the gany hathor kind of things so um yeah and just go into human form as soon as possible and just sit there for the whole match. That, that was basically the strategy there. Uh, and then we have Molong. So Molong has been uh, vamp... And get the little uh, guardian skin. Of course, he's got a lot of those. Um, Molong has kind of reverted to vampire uh, more commonly. So he's looking like he's speed HP HP on vampire. Yeah, there we go. But still people use him uh, every so often, especially if you're doing like a bruiser thing. But he's been more more often vampire than um, violent lately. So this is just a uh, twin. Got the Talia, she's on. She's actually on. So that means he's using her in PVP. Uh, he's using for like Guild Wars. That's a cool, that's a cool transmog though on this girl. Uh, so just speed crit damage attack. And she, but it's not completely grinded. Look at this. I know some of you guys have better runes than this. Seriously, some of the people watching are like, oh, I got uh, better runes than that. So it looks like he's using her, but not at too much in uh, PvP stuff. But I'm sure he's using PvE too. Uh, so anyway, this is not runes. This cannot be runed. Yep. And that's not even upgraded at all. So we won't really take uh, too much into consideration there. Um, some people running a Belio on... Speed for damage, defense with HP and subs. You need a lot of stats for Abelio, because for a really good Abelio, you'd want speed, HP, and defense are the most important things on him, right? But then for a really good Abelio, you'd want crit rate and crit damage, so he could do some bruiser damage as well. He's not going to do as much as Tyrannus, but he does some damage here. He does a decent amount of damage if you put him on crit damage there. So just FYI. Um, but that's not rude. This is... Looking like he is on. He's actually missing a rune. He's missing a slot, uh, this slot three. <laughs> the number's right there, slot this one. Bagel, you don't know what it, the number three is? Um, so yeah, this is just on speed, HP, HP. Nothing too crazy. He doesn't need to be on violent. Some people prefer violent on him, violent will. Uh, some people prefer will and revenge and shield. The will and the shield are gonna stack him uh, at first. Like, first turn. And then the revenge, he can steal a buff, right? Which is kind of beneficial. So, you can steal a buff with this if you have him on revenge. But yeah, it's not even finished. So, this is not even fi it is finished. Oh. Oh. That's not the... That, this is a mid-game figure. <laughs> this is not an end-game... Uh, he may have more than one. I don't know. But this is... Uh, yeah, speed for damage HP. That is... These are not his, not even remotely close to his best runes. These are very, I mean, if if you are mid game and your vigor looks like this, then then that would be that would be fine. I would say he would still need a little bit more speed. But this is not a this is not like a G three vigor. This is not like crazy anything. Uh, this one. So he must not be prioritizing this too much. Maybe he's got some more in storage or something. Uh, but yeah. Uh, then we have the more so this is looking like it's not finished because look at this. He's got no crit rate He's got no crit damage. This cannot be finished. This is not I don't I don't know what this is for what he's doing with this This is not a meta build for more um, People doing two different things with more making very 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 fast on swift to take turn one strip attack each pushback or 
uh, making him uh, speed crit damage uh, attack or speed crit damage HP on despair um, more as a counter interruption mechanic, right? Uh, so if you want to go turn one, kind of like how you do like a swift Chibu or like a Triton or Tian or something like that, he'd be on swift with uh, some decent accuracy. Uh, and then if you want to go turn two as like a counter, that would be more of despair. I've seen people run him both ways. Um, the issue with this, the using him on Swift for turn one, is this is not a hundred percent activation rate, so uh, you may just get screwed. So uh, anyway, moving on. That's not. This is not a meta build for this. This is a nonsense. Nothing build for this. Uh, hey gang, that's he's not done. He can't be done. Again, this is not a. This is not. He's not actually done with this. This hey gang, so don't uh, don't take this. I have a hey gang. Well, actually, I have one on my main now too. Uh, spoiler alert! That's what I chose. Um, I have him on speed crit damage HP. I do kind of feel like I like the crit damage on hey gang. And also, I mean, he's. It seems like maybe he wants to go crit damage eventually. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the heck he's doing with this triple revenge. Um, mine is in despair. S very fast, as fast as I could get him. Um, I wanted him to naturally, like, just in because he's a counter unit. He's a this is, uh, this is intended as a counter. But I wanted him to be very fast to move before my CC units, just in case. Um, just in case, like, there wasn't the counter chance, right? Just in case I could use him even without him needing to counter things. So, uh, yeah, just speed. I like him speed crit damage uh, HP as, like, a more of a fast hybrid bruiser on despair and... You do despair, but we do despair. Well, you do despair, uh, whatever. Well, his passive. Yeah, you know, yeah. I guess, I guess, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go on to. Uh, I was gonna do more with this guy. Did I do? I don't remember. Maybe I'll do more. Anyway, you know what? In my in my China in my how I got C one on China server uh, video, the China server alt. He's got the. I show a little bit more about him on there. Uh, Barbara is looking. Don't tell me she's on Swift. He, she can't be on Swift. This is, not, this is violent. This is violent will Barbara. So generally, uh, Barbara's violent will speed crit damage attack. Uh, and this looks... She's on Swift! Oh my god. Speed crit damage attack, though. So you want Barbara to be... Like, these ones, you these are pretty cut and dry. Like, speed crit damage attack, period. Uh, for her and Savannah, too. Um, Swift should really be way faster than this. This is not good. Um, also... Accuracy could be better because accuracy you need accuracy for all three skills So it's hard to get all the stats that you need on Barbara, but it's pretty cut and dry uh, Speed crit damage uh, attack for both her and Savannah because of how their 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 wording is um, So uh, Attack bar of all other allies will be increased up to 50% in proportion to the enemy's lost HP from this attack So you need her to do decent damage for that attack age increase um, so yeah, keep that keep that in mind. Kind of similar with Savannah, you need her to have very be very fast with good uh, attack power. But this is not this is not fast enough for Swift for his level. This is not fast enough. I'm sure his RTA one is like this, but on violent. But this is you know, nothing nothing crazy. Uh, so Lulu, would for, this is not fast enough either. <laughs> Some of the I mean. Violent, uh, Violent Nemesis is actually good, but you want it to be fast and tanky. That's all you need. Fast, tanky, good resistance uh, is nice too, right? So just fast and tanky, Violent Nemesis works. Um, you know, you can do uh, Endure too if you don't have good uh, Nemesis runes, but there's not too many units that really need good Nemesis runes. I am honestly a little surprised on some of the runes on, uh, on some of these, but... I knew going into it, I knew all of his units weren't ruined correctly, um, but I still felt like this was a good... Like, even the ones that weren't ruined correctly, we could still uh, kind of discuss them, so... I just want to be be clear in that. Shizuka! So Shizuka has uh, very fast, good accuracy. Uh, she doesn't really need to do damage, so she doesn't have, like, any attack or crit, or crit damage. You just need her to be fast and good accuracy. And Violent Will, so he does think that it's important for Shizuka to have a good set of Violent on her because he's got better stuff on Shizuka than he has on, for example, Vigor, right? Uh, then we have Hua, which I'm actually surprised to see him have Hua ruined. 
Uh, but this is a pretty good, just Hua in general, just speed grid damage uh, and attack, right? Speed grid damage attack, she's got some pretty fat stats overall. Accuracy could be a little bit better because she does attack gauge uh, decrease as well, so uh, as part of her passive. So she is on swift, speed grid damage attack. There you go, you can put her on swift, you can put her on violent. Either way works. Uh, Huahi! Weird to see some of the, but you know what? It's still good to see uh, to see some of these things that uh, that are not LD fives on uh, on accounts. So Huahi's on speed for damage attack. She is. I mean, I'm sure he's was using her for rift beast, and he just didn't put art. I do this too. Is that like the things? There's some things that I have that don't have artifacts on them, just because I'm like wasn't focused on some of them and i'm like you know the things that i use the most have artifacts but the things that i use for like rift beast some of the things may not have artifacts some of the things from uh like guild siege don't have artifacts so so this is okay uh clearly doesn't have crazy runes right so we get a good idea of uh Hwahi. um perna is on that looks like it's is that actually on speed for damage attack because you can get a pretty decent amount of speed on Perna without even having speed. That is on speed for damage attack. Okay, so speed for damage attack. That is a decent... I want to compare his Perna to my Perna. He, I'm sure I'm sure he can make it way better. He, it's, it's already a very good Perna, but I'm sure he can make it way better. I, I don't want to compare it if he makes it way better, right? I'm, I'm proud of my Perna, but... Um, so what do we have for... So Juno, a little bit weird. This is not quite an RTA build. Based on the new uh, additional damage, you don't actually have to have crit damage. I have crit damage on my Juno too. Uh, my Juno is actually a little bit faster with crit damage. Uh, she doesn't have as much attack though. She's got more HP, she's faster. Uh, and I think maybe more accuracy. But uh, yeah, this is not quite, I mean, this is a pretty standard. Oh, attack, crit damage, attack. Attack, crit damage, attack. Um, Maybe for Siege. Maybe he's using this for Siege. Because this is not generally an RTA build. RTA is is more speed crit damage. Sorry, no, it's not speed crit damage. Speed crit rate HP uh, for Juno in RTA. And generally like revenge. Uh, revenge or Nemesis on her as well. Um, but much tankier, less attack power. And then just additional damage artifacts is, is the standard for Juno. Uh, and then we this is not ruined. Speed, it's probably he's gonna do speed crit damage uh, defense is how he was gonna have him ruined, but yeah, it's hard to get all the stats that you need on Veljul because Veljul's got low base speed, so he needs a lot of speed. He needs <sighs> he needs some decent HP too because he's as, aside from that, if you if you just put him on speed crit damage defense, he dies pretty fast after he gets defense broken. So you need speed, <laughs> defense, HP at least for a decent Veljul right on violent. For a really good Veljul, you need speed, uh, defense, HP, crit rate, crit damage, and also uh, resistance as well, because he's a cleanser, so resistance helps. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to make a good Veljul, like a really good Veljul. Then we have the Laika, so Laika is uh, looking like he's just attack or damage attack. Yep. Oh, so speed! Speed crit damage attack. All right. He could have gotten this amount of speed in subs, though, so... And the accuracy is not. He clearly doesn't have fatal focus like a. The accuracy is not anything too crazy, right? So there's the stats on that. Um, I think that it's a little bit better to have like attack or damage attack on. Like, I mean, it's fine. He's got plenty of attack on it already, but. Um, but yeah, you could you could get that amount of uh, speed and subs for like a. Uh, then we have Brandia. So Brandia is looking like she's just on. She's definitely on crit damage. I wonder if he's got good crit damage in subs or if he's got rage and not good crit damage in subs he's got rage and not good crit damage in subs i mean brand is definitely not like look at this i know some of you guys have a runes that look like this that are like this quality so that is actually a purple rune uh because there was two rolls into crit rate there was the speed w there was actually one roll into speed and then accuracy like this is not anything too crazy for this rune I know some of you guys have brandy that have not brandies that look like this, but like runes that are uh, at that level. Let's see, he's not even finished with his brandia, so he's he clearly hasn't paying too much attention to the brandia. He's too focused on other stuff. 
So next we have Antares. I had to edit the video. My camera just froze on me making like whatever this face is. Uh, so Antares, he's got a pretty tanky Antares. I hope the camera doesn't freeze again. Um, fairly tanky. Antares is usually fairly tanky. He's got a decent amount of attack. He's got a decent amount of stats overall on this Antares. Because generally I like to do my Antares on like my alts. I like to steal, try to steal wins with Antares. Because um, sometimes that's all you can do is hope that he procs a lot. As a strategy. <laughs> if you don't have good rune quality. Um, but the, ni the nice thing about Antares is you can put him on a set of Despair Revenge. And you don't need a super fast set of Despair. You just want it to be stat efficient, right? So you just want uh, a good amount of... You don't need that much speed. And you don't need that much crit rate considering he buffs his own crit rate and his attack. So you can just go for, like, good efficiency overall. So, uh, Antares is actually pretty... <laughs> Pretty uh, low stress unit to rune. High stress unit if you're playing with him or against him. Uh, attack over here. There's not too much you use with attack slot two. Uh, despair. Generally for despair, you want speed slot two. Most of the time. Al almost always. Uh, so speed crit damage, HP. I'm sorry, not speed. <laughs> attack crit damage, HP. I'm talking about speed. Um, and then we have just good stat efficiency overall over here. Look at that 37 sub. Right, even without uh, an artifact, he still looks pretty tanky. You don't have to go, again, you don't have to go too crazy on the speed. And the crit rate, 70% uh, is all the crit rate you need for Antares because he's going to buff his crit rate. It's going to give him an extra 30% on there. I would go for a little bit more accuracy, but he's still got pretty good stats overall. Like, that's that's a, a juicy Antares. Uh, and then we have Rika. So Rika, for the most part, I like to do Rika with low crit rate. Uh, unless you're using her for farming. If you're using her for, for farming, then speed crit damage attack. Uh, and then she's got a crit rate leader skill, right? So if you're going to use her as like a farmer for a scenario. If you're early, like super early game. But if you're going to use her for TOA hard, if you're going to use her for RTA and things like that, generally you're going to be using her against things that you don't want to crit against. Because uh, she does her, her damage through continuous damage. So you don't actually have to put damage on her for TOA or for, uh, for RTA. Uh, you just want her to be fast with good uh, accuracy. And that's about it. Look at this. There's no attack. There's no crit rate. There are very little crit rate or crit damage. Um, and then she also gets accuracy from her awakening. So it's actually pretty easy to rune Rika. And again, excuse me, again, unless you're using her for a uh, farming scenario, but you really don't need to use her for... I, if you want to, you can do that, right? If, if you're like early game, speed crit damage attack, attack crit damage attack, for her first scenario, you don't need to worry too much about crit rate. But aside from that, because, you know, you get the 38%, so you really only need 62% crit rate. Um, but for, again, for TOA, for RTA, you don't have to worry about crit rate at all, really, because she's doing damage through continuous damage. Uh, and then we have Kumar. So Kumar, I actually just re-ruined my, re my Kumar on my Europe server account. Uh, fairly similar to this, uh, mine, I put him on Destroy. I like to do these Beast Monks on Destroy for Guild Wars and Siege. Uh, but Kumar, really, uh, make him fast, make him tanky. Um, and you can also do, uh, crit damage build. So this one's looking like a HP, crit damage, HP build for this. I do like the accuracy on Kumar, though. Not, you don't have to have crazy, but Kumar has, a uh, Strip on here. Um... And then we also have a silence on here. So you want these to land. So definitely more than 0% accuracy. I don't know how much he's actually using his Kumar. But there's a, so he's on destroy too, right? So HP crit, if you're doing crit damage, destroy might be a good, uh, good option for you, right? So that's actually, mine is on speed crit damage uh, HP. The one that I just re on my on my alt. But I mean... Destroy and crit damage go hand in hand. So he and I have the same uh, have the same mindset for this one. I also like my I think just beast monks in general on destroy. They do HP based damage, so destroy is uh you know and they're they're tanky. Generally for destroy units, anything you put destroy runes on, you want to do tanky bruisers with destroy, right? You're not like squishy units. Not like let me put a water sniper on destroy. I guess you could. But you get more value putting it on tanky bruisers than you do on squishy YOLO DPS units. Um, and then we have the Rakan. So Rakan, he actually put a decent amount of attack power on that Rakan too. Look at that. The crit rate is not, you know, crit rate could be better. Leaves a little bit to, to be desired. 
But uh, it looks like he's... I, mean, I feel like this may actually be a attack crit damage HP. Rakan. Let's see. He's on violent speed crit damage HP. Okay, he's just got a lot of attack and subs. That's a pretty decent... Those pretty decent uh, runes for... For this. So it looks like he does value his Rakan. Lols. All that attack. Usually you don't see that much attack power on, uh, on a Rakan, but... Yeah, uh, and Rakan, I would definitely do crit damage on Rakan, right? Um, some people do Vampire Will, some people do Violent Will. Uh, it's all based on preference. He can solo more on Vampire, obviously. Um, Vam uh, Violet gives him extra turns, and he cycles extra turns with his skill 2 as well. So he has more chances to get his uh, skill 3 collapse up. So it's just on personal preference, and if you have enough Violent Runes to go around... Many people don't, that's why I usually do like Vampire on Rakans, because usually it's easier to have excess Vampire runes and excess Violent because you need everything on Violent. So if you could do something on a different set than Violent as an option, then it might be a good idea. Uh, so Monkey is not runed. Uh, I like to do Speaker Damage HP on the Monkey um, with good. He doesn't, he, he's going to eventually stack his attack power uh, based on this. Uh, increase your resist. Oh, I forgot about the resistance. That's a that was in a buff. Increase your resistance and attack power by 20% whenever you're attacked. Accumulate up to 10 times. So you really don't need to worry too much about the uh, attack power. I like to do, and his speed is actually pretty good base speed. 116, pretty very good base speed. Um, so you just do speed, crit damage, and HP for monkey, and then just try to get stat rich overall. Try to get HP, a uh, little attack. You know, you don't want nothing, but. Um, you don't have to fo focus too crazy on it because you want you, he when you use the the fire monkey he's gonna be you know in matches that are more prolonged right you're not gonna use him against cleave units you're gonna use him against control teams um, so speaker damage HP and then just focus on like just overall stat value of uh, some speed some defense some attack some HP some crit rate some crit damage just in general uh, accuracy his his skills both one and two. Uh, need accuracy though. Um, I'm not saying put a ton of accuracy on him, but a little bit of accuracy. He kind of does need a lot of stat value overall. So he is he's a very stat hungry unit, but you can go a little bit less on the attack power since he's going to stack it eventually anyway. That's just my opinion. Uh, Daphnis is looking, so he actually has 2,000 2, attack power on this Daphnis. Is that fatal speed for damage attack or is that uh, swift attack for damage attack? Because I don't actually think that the 144 is swift plus spe <laughs> speed on slot 2 with the 2022 uh, attack power. Uh, and he's got good... I mean, this is a fairly good uh, mid-game Daphnis. I wouldn't call this an end-game Daphnis. If you see, like, Faint Memories Daphnis, I'm, I'm sure he's taken the runes off and put them on something else by now. But that would be more of a crazy end-game Daphnis. This does not look like RTA Legend Daphnis, but... It, Again, he's probably not really focused his best runes on Daphnis. Uh, he's probably focused his best runes on uh, other things. So, uh, it looks like it is attack, crit damage, attack. Which is what I said that this wasn't going to be. It was either going to be like fatal with that attack power. It was either going to be fatal with uh, speed, crit damage, attack. Or it was going to be swift with attack, crit damage, attack. So, that's what it was. Uh, anyway, this guy, Xiong Fei... So Xiong Fei used to just be like, you stick him in the front, uh, the front row of R5. You put whatever runes to make him tanky. He doesn't really need to do too much. Now, since he has a cleanse on skill two, full team cleanse, uh, having him faster is actually more beneficial too. So um, he's got him. I'm sure. I wonder if he's skilled up. I skilled up my Xiong Fei. Of course he's skilled up. I'm sure he's bought every single pack of everything. Uh, so he's defense, HP, defense. Uh, I think maybe he's using it for Guild Siege. Uh, is, is what I've seen. I've also seen some people doing crit damage to Young Phase. Again, for Guild Siege. Um, this would be a great build for... You don't... Uh, this would be a great build for R5, for beginner R5. But it's like, you're not going to get these, uh, these runes for beginner R5. Just make them tanky. And, and somewhat fast for beginner R5 uh, if you're going to use Young Fei. Uh, so, anyway, then we, oh, this is not uh, finished. Uh, I see people ruining Ophelia on Violent Revenge extremely fast and tanky. Uh, so, just like speed, HP, HP, Violent Revenge, 
Some people love Ophelia. Love Ophelia. Many people do not really like Ophelia that much, but some people love her and they will make her, like, seriously, like, 270, 280 speed violent sets and they'll use her so much. Um, cause she'll, she'll kind of take the attention away from your other units that are more squishy and let them kind of do their thing without being, uh, attacked. So, it's a very, like, you, you gotta kind of get used to the Ophelia gameplay style to, to really appreciate Ophelia. It's, it, she's not a unit for everyone, like, not everyone is gonna like her, but, uh, yeah, just fast tanky on Violent, or on Swift too, um, if you can't get violent. Uh, I have mine on Swift for the Observer account. She works just fine. Uh, you Also, she has a defense leader for uh, Guild Wars, which works well with uh, Copper and Amesity or Copper and Olivia, right? So uh, that works like that. Anyway, we got this uh, Bernadette. So this is Fire Ken, FYI. This is a China server version of Fire Ken. They had the legendary mercenaries uh, the entire time. They never had the Street Fighter crossover. Uh, for like legal reasons, I believe. So uh, they had Fire Shadow Claw instead of Fire Ken. So this is Fire Ken. We can take a look at the skill three. Same as the Fire Ken. I did videos on this before, but I know people are going to keep asking regardless. Um, looks like he's not really doing too much with that. But yeah. Uh, people do actually use Fire Ken for RTA. Swift, speed, crit rate, attack, or speed, crit rate, HP. Um... Are they going more tanky or are they going more... Actually, I don't know if they're going more tanky. But speed and crit rate. That's the most important things. Very, very fast speed and crit rate. Um, for him, if you want to use him for a stripper, kind of like the same thing as the water Ryu. I wouldn't use him on despair. I would use him... But he's more like the, the swift. Because you do this, and then you get another turn. And then you do hurricane rush. So he does pretty decent damage. Cycles into hurricane rush. So you get all that skill, uh, all that turn one. Uh, then we have Tomo, the next one. Tomo is interesting. She's kind of like, um, she's she works uh, kind of like a light Rakshasa, but AOE, and she also has a speed lead. Uh, looks like he's not devil monning her just yet, but yeah, this uh, attack to all enemies increases the duration of harmful effects uh, on them by one turn each. Absorbs attack bar by ten percent. For each turn of the harmful effects on the target. I like her. I would like her, but, or I would like to get her, but I, you know, the SP summon's already done, so. Uh, this is on, eh? Well, she was on Swift, apparently, but, uh, but now she's on nothing. So. Anyway, then we have, uh, Kaki, who's apparently on nothing as well, which I'm sure he's scaled up completely. Yep. Uh, so I'm sure he was on speed attack attack. We did cocky videos recently though, so I'm sure he was on speed attack attack That's generally what people are doing on cocky Ciara, there's so many CR builds honestly uh, Oh, does he have another CR? He does have another CR cool. This way we can actually show a build uh, So this one is speed attack uh, H Usually you don't see a speed attack HP very fast on violent though. Look at that. Look at that speed uh, crit rate is only 40%. There's benefits to crit rate being, uh, accuracy is only 66%. Uh, but there's benefits to high crit rate and low crit rate. The high crit rate benefit is she cycles turns a lot and can be very annoying getting a lot of extra turns. That's why a lot of people have been doing Ciara on speed crit rate, uh, HP. Generally, if you do this, the crit rate build, um, you put HP on slot six. If you're doing CR for arena offense, speed attack attack. Violent Will. Um, just try to get a lot of speed, a lot of attack, and a lot of accuracy. For arena offense, that's what you want to do. For RT, and it's just kind of easier to build that way, right? Especially since attack on slot 4, not too many people fighting over, not too many units fighting over CR on, uh, or, or uh, sorry, not too many units fighting over attack slot 4 Violent Runes. Um, for RTA, speed, crit rate, uh, HP, Try to get attack and accuracy. Try to get just valuable stats overall in the subs. Uh, this way she cycles a lot. She's hard to kill because she's got a lot of HP. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty pretty juicy rune there. We got the attack on there. But the problem with the, the crit rate CRs that cycle turns more is the, it's Artemiel and Ragdoll and Miho love those Ciaras. Especially if they don't have high uh, high accuracy and she's missing bombs and then she's critting a lot and then Miho's getting revenges and Artemiel's getting revenges and Ragdoll's boosting up attack age. 
Uh, yeah, so the crit rate CRs with low accuracy, um, some of those LD units really love, uh, really love those CRs and love to counter them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, trying to get good stats overall on CR. CR is another one that you, you don't really need to focus too much on crit damage or resistance for CR, but CR could benefit from like every other stat, including crit rate. Really not too much on the crit damage, and then accuracy, she needs the accuracy for those bombs. Unless you don't want to land them and then complain about uh, her not landing bombs, which I do too. We all do. I know we all do. Uh, so Eladriel, this is actually pretty good for Eladriel, aside from the speed being pretty slow. Hella slow, Eladriel. Uh, good resistance, because you want things that revive to have high resistance. He's just very slow. So HP, HP, HP. Yeah, he's just too slow. I mean, he's not putting his best runes on Eladriel, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that Eladriel, that would be a very good Eladriel if he had, like, 50 plus more speed. That's really, that's really the thing that he's missing. Some people like to do Nemesis on Eladriel, too. Uh, this way they take some damage and then they get an attack, uh, they, they, they get extra attack gauge and then they come in and they heal. So, same reason for, like, uh, any healer or cleanser, basically, Nemesis, people do. Uh, so then this one, uh, Triton, you just make him very, very fast, swift, with good accuracy. It's fairly cut and dry. You just make him very, very fast with good accuracy. Um, then we have Xingzhe. So Xingzhe is another one that's very hard to rune. Uh, you want... He's got really good base speed, but you still want a lot of stats overall. Um, he benefits more from HP because he decreases incoming damage by 35% and counterattacks with 35% uh, chance when allies attack. So he does uh, get really annoying if you make him very, very tanky. I see some people doing attack or damage attack and making Xingzhe squishy. I see less of it nowadays. People kind of figured out how to ruin Xingzhe right, uh, making him more tanky uh, and just more annoying that lasts for a while. But uh, yeah, more of a tanky bruiser. So he's fairly tanky. He's got some attack, he's got some defense, he's got some just overall tanky bruiser stats. But it is really hard to make a good Xingzhe. Get, some of these monkeys are very hard to make the because they need so much stats overall for, uh, for some of these monkeys. But yeah, he needs HP for sure. He needs speed as well. The more speed, the more annoying he can be. Uh, and then he needs some attack helps, right? Uh, he is a bruiser. He's an HP based unit, but he is a bruiser. He does some damage too. Um, and then he also cycles with his skill too. So... Usable in two turns, uh, but he also recovers attack bar by 50%. So he can defense break, get a violent proc, or defense break, increase attack age, and then, you know, monkey wand, violent proc, monkey wand again. So he can get kind of annoying with that. Um, but yeah, he is on, and also destroy is kind of common on him as well. Attack or damage HP. Uh, some, of the, some of the runes are, they're pretty good runes overall, but some of them could be a little bit better. But again, it's hard to ruin a really good Xingzhe. This, this is a pretty good Xingzhe, but it's really hard to ruin that. Uh, so this is not quite ruined <laughs> right now. Wait, is that crit rate? No, it's not crit rate, it's crit damage. Uh, and then we saw her, and then this one is just fast. I mean, Ganymede, the thing with Ganymede, most people don't ruin him for crit damage. You could ruin him for crit damage because he does quite a decent amount of damage. He has a 740% multiplier, if I recall correctly on his skill three. Um, but yeah, most people just ruin him just like this, sport. That's that's about it. Just speed, HP, HP, speed, HP, defense kind of thing. Accuracy, part of it is irresistible, but the other part, he, do, he doesn't need accuracy for skill two. Accuracy, skill one, he's got a glancing hit, not anything too crazy. Um, the skill three is partially resistible, partially not resistible. Irresistible attack puts the target skull on max cooldown. Uh, and then sets the attack bar to all enemies to zero. That part can be resisted, though. So that part still does need uh, accuracy. So, yeah, fairly standard uh, Ganymede. And then we have Leo. Leo does not need any speed. Leo is just basically uh, either HP, crit damage, HP, HP, crit damage, attack. Some people like to do vampire. Some people like to do violent. More people like to do violent lately uh, than before. It used to be more vampire. Now it's more violent. So this one is vampire revenge. Wasn't expecting the revenge on there. Was expecting like maybe blade or something, but yeah. So that's uh, that's the stats on Leo. Just tanky bruiser again. Tanky bruiser, but he doesn't need speed, so it's a little bit easier to ruin him. 
as a tanky bruiser to give him all the stats that he needs since he doesn't need speed. Also, accuracy is 26, but accuracy is, accuracy is kind of nice on Leo. If you have low accuracy, it might be a better idea to do violent because that will give him a second chance. Like, if you're trying to push something back, turn one. Um, which you don't really necessarily need to push something back turn one. Sometimes he's just there to limit the speed of units. Like, for example, beast riders or things that do damage based on, uh, attack, based on attack speed. Um, so, like, those and chimeras. So, he will nerf their damage just by being on the battlefield for those that you don't necessarily need him to push back attack gauge with, uh, with this. But if he's on violent, he'll at least get another. If you miss, you know, if you don't have good accuracy, you miss the uh, pushback. And you needed the pushback on, like, a Triton or something. Any violent procs will get an additional turn to, uh, to do that, so... Keep that in mind if you're thinking about like doing violent, then that's the benefit from that. Uh, Feng Yan, oh my god, I'm talking so much, guys. I really am talking so These videos, man. <sighs> Feng Yan, actually, I like the resist. I like the 100% resistance on him because I feel like Feng Yan needs, um, we, we don't really appreciate resistance enough on him. He can get fairly annoying with high resistance. Uh, so I do like that he appreciates the resistance on here. This is looking like it's just, also the HP. Um, Feng Yan needs good speed, defense, and HP. Those are the primary things that Feng Yan needs. He awakens into crit rate, unfortunately, <laughs> which he doesn't really need. Because, uh, you know, it's a summoner's war. Um, but yeah, he just needs speed, defense, and HP. I would put him on higher speed, but this is, you know, this is not bad. Also, destroy works uh, nicely on Feng Yan as well. So again, destroy is best for tanky bruisers. Uh, and then we have Triana. So Triana is all... Is Triana's on crit damage. She does damage with skill 1 based on speed. So, uh, I've seen this before. There's a lot of different builds for Trianas, though. Some people do Copper Trap Trianas. I haven't really seen too much of that lately. Uh, but this is a Bruiser Triana, which does... She, do, she does do damage based on speed with skill 1. So, Bruiser Triana actually does work. Uh, speed per damage HP. Not saying you have to do Bruiser Triana. Uh, you can just do either speed HP, HP, uh, triple HP with speed and subs. If you can get enough speed and subs that way, uh, make her very tanky and annoying. Just a lot of speed, a lot of HP. The easiest way, Violet will, a lot of speed, a lot of HP for Triana. Easiest way to ruin Triana is just that. Uh, then we have, this is not finished. <laughs> so look at this, that's like, either this is the worst Diana of all time. No, it's just not finished. Uh, HP, for early game, you may want to consider... HP, crit rate, HP with... Because you... For a beginner Diana, you need 100% crit rate on her for her human form to cycle, right? Because uh, you don't want to miss crits and be, like, stuck in human form and be weakened. Um, a lot of people are going to have trouble doing her fast enough with uh, HP, crit, uh, HP, crit rate, HP. You don't need to be too fast. Like, you just put, like, 100 speed on her. Like, you, if you can get 100 speed in the subs for the uh, slot 1 through 6. Um, it should be fine. So, uh, you don't necessarily need to do speed on slot 2. I don't do speed on slot 2 for my Dianas. Generally, I run them HP, crit rate, HP. On my main, I have HP, crit damage, HP, because I have another, uh, I have enough uh, crit rate and subs to have 100%. Um, but on the alts, couldn't quite get to 100% while having, um, I couldn't quite get to 100% while still having all the other stats that I needed. Oh my god, I'm getting so tired right now, guys. <laughs> I've been talking and talking and talking and talking. My brain. I have had a headache this whole time, too. Jeez. Okay, let's just take a look at the, the rest of these. So this Tyrannus is generally just like a lot of speed, a lot of HP, defense. A uh, lot of speed, a lot of defense. Crit rate, crit damage, HP. Um, if you're early game, you can forego the crit rate and crit damage. But he does do pretty good damage. So he is even more important to have on crit damage than Abelio. You don't need quite as much HP on him because he's already, like, comes back from the dead anyway. So if he gets nuked, he's going to come back from the dead. Um, yeah. And all, also on will. Violent will. It's fairly standard, right? Defense, crit damage, defense. You can do uh, speed, crit damage, defense, or HP, crit damage, defense, if you have some very valuable stats, substats here, right? So uh, not really set in stone that it has to be specifically just like this. Again, you can go speed, you can go uh, HP. You just want to get a lot of speed, crit rate, crit damage, defense, and HP on there. Right? That's uh, whatever whatever build of Violet Will gets you there. So, 
I think I did a terrible job explaining it, but uh, there you go. So this is just, he's generally on, generally on attack or damage attack with high speed and subs though. Um, it's very ambitious to do a violent will Odin with that much. A lot of times you got to just sacrifice it, but for the most part, you just want attack or damage. He's a, he's a standard DPS unit. You just want attack or damage attack, fair, standard DPS build uh, with good crit rate too. And then speed and subs uh, as much as possible. It really, like, sometimes you have to do speed on slot 2 on Odin if you don't have good runes. But that just nerfs his damage so much. And he's not going to be able to kill things a lot. Uh, you don't necessarily need to go for, um, for Violent. Again, Violent is very ambitious, only if you have very, very good runes. The best thing to do is just attack or damage attack with crit rate and speed and crit damage and attack in subs. And, and like fatal or rage. That's that's the easiest way to do Odin. So uh, then we have Xiong Pung, which Xiong Pung actually needs a tremendous amount of stats as well. He needs like everything. The only thing he doesn't need, he's a fantastic unit, but he needs like every stat. It's so hard to ruin a good Xiong Pung. It really is. He's kind of like some of these monkeys where it's like so hard to ruin a really good one. He needs. <laughs> Speed, because he's a control unit, so he needs speed and accuracy. So that's uh, those those two there. He's also an attack unit, so he needs attack and crit rate and crit damage. And also, you want to put some uh, HP and defense on him. You know, as a kind of like, if you don't just nuke very fast and the match goes on longer, uh, it's beneficial to have uh, HP and defense on him. But for the most part, he needs speed, accuracy, force control, and then attack, crit rate, crit damage for his... Because uh, he's like a control fleet unit, right? But it's very hard to ruin a good Xiongpeng. Uh, and then you want to do, like, Violent Will on top of that. So you don't get extra benefit of, like, oh, Swift with speed. Like, no. No, 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 no. Or, like, a, a ta uh, Fatal. No. I mean, you could. But you lose some damage. Although I have seen... I actually have seen some people do Swift Xiongpengs. Uh, like, 300 speed. And then if the enemy has Will Runes, you use Skill 2. defense uh, Strip into a Defense Break and Glancing. Uh, if the enemy doesn't have will runes, you just uh, skill three, decrease their attack ages all the way, increase their cool, uh, cool times, and then they're basically just done for. Uh, so depending on what uh, what team you're going up against, use skill two or skill two. He's he's so OP though. He's really so OP. You just got to make him fast. Got to give him good accuracy, and he needs like all the other stats too. I was trying to re remind yesterday. I was like, God, he needs everything. He needs everything. Not resistance, I guess, so. Uh, but anyway, kind of similar is Savannah. So Savannah needs a lot of speed, needs a lot of attack power, because her third skill is based on those two things. Uh, Rider increases the attack speed of all allies for two turns. The beast attacks all enemies, weakens the defense for two turns. The enemy's defense is lower than your attack power. So you need a high attack power. So that's why you don't ever ruin her with HP um, on slot six. Uh, decrease the enemy's attack bar by 75% if the enemy's attack speed is slower than yours. So it's also why you have to run her very fast. So it's fairly standard that you want to run her speed, crit damage, attack, uh, and then put like accuracy and subs on her. But yeah, she's stat hungry too. 31 speed sub. 32 speed sub. 32 speed sub. Yeah. That's, fa that's uh, 290. Two 293 on uh, violent. OP. Anyway, oh my god, I'm getting so tired, guys. I know you're tired of me talking like, Bagel, can you just, can, can I get the five minute Cliff Notes, Cliff Notes version, please, sir? Uh, so Bella, Bella's just on, oh, she got Nemesis, okay. Speed, HP, HP. Do you guys like, yeah, my Bella's got a five star rune too. Uh, there you go, just fast, tanky, good accuracy. That's basically it for Bella, nothing too crazy. Uh, Molly, actually, my Molly's Faster. She doesn't have 100% resistance, though. But, uh, yep. Fast, tanky. Good uh, HP. Because she heals based on her HP. Uh, good defense. Make her tanky and annoying. And good resistance. Because people hate hitting mollies that have very, very high resistance. Uh, I actually thought his molly was going to be faster. But, yeah. There's the molly runes. Because the faster she is, the more annoying she can be stealing turns and stuff. Let me show you guys the artifacts, too. Have I been showing the artifacts on everything? Excuse me. Uh, and then a chroma. I've actually gotten a decent amount of people asking me how to ruin a chroma. Uh, weird, weirdly enough, you'd think that they'd be asking me, like, oh, how do I ruin 
something else. But no, it's actually been a decent amount of how to run a chroma. So this is the uh, this is Diligence of Chroma. He's ranked five in RTA. Uh, let's take a look. All revenge, attack, crit damage, HP. Just bruiser, 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 bruiser. Stats, 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 stats. Look at all those stats. Everything here has got tanky, juicy stats. So Chroma, the, the reason that uh, Full Revenge works nicely on a Chroma is you have to keep hitting a Chroma. Like, she's not going to take a defense break and then you just one-shot a Chroma. You have to, like, hit a Chroma and then hit a Chroma and then hit a Chroma and then hit a Chroma again and then hit a Chroma again and then hit a Chroma, like, another 5,000 more times. I know you see all the other LDs. Did you not think he was going to have them? Uh, there's a lot more LDs. So uh, Revenge is going to make her very very annoying to keep hitting her over and over and over again um but yeah chroma's really nice in this meta of heavy control like very very fast control um based on her passive fantastic passive also leader skill here um calls upon the power of divine uh, shield gaining immunity against all harmful effects additionally the oblivion too by the way people ask me about that as well I'm like oh what about oblivion like yes oblivion uh, chance of allies receiving critical hit is reduced by 30%. The effect is not accumulated with other critical hit reduction effects. Uh, and then we have, so yeah, that's uh, just very tanky stats for everything, or very, very juicy stats for everything. Um, and then full revenge. Not even the first time I've seen, most Akromas uh, I see are on uh, revenge. So, uh, and then we have the Zareth is just extreme 50 8,000 HP on... Is that a Rage? Yeah, that is on Rage. HP per damage, HP. Look how fat that is. That's a Wrath ate so much cake. He's got really crazy base HP, too. 15,000 base HP. I mean, it's easy to get him to crazy levels with 15,000 base HP, but oh my god. That's crazy. Right? So anyway, yeah. Uh, it is Rage. He does a lot of big damage. There we go. And then this Wedget is actually cannot be finished yet. So it looks like he was ruining it on Swift. So the thing about Wedget is he's got his own speed lead, right? And then he also has this, which increases the attack bar when he uses his defensive stance. So you can use him with, like, uh, coppers or bulldozers. But with those, you'd want the coppers and bulldozers to be f much faster than your, than your uh, usual coppers and bulldozers. You can use them with a lot of other stuff, too, not just that. But, uh, yeah, generally he's ruined very, very fast, either on Violent or on Swift or the Wedget. Resistance 77? I wonder if he was going specifically for high resistance or if it just happens to... Does he awaken into resistance? He awakens into resistance. Okay. Well, that answers that question. Uh, this one you do want to ruin for high resistance, though, Nagong. So, Nagong is basically... For those of you that are like, oh, I got Nagong that I don't know, because I've actually had a decent amount of people that are like, where do I use this? Where do I use that? Where do I, like, and it's all Nat 5s. All, all, all LD 5s lately. I don't know. I really don't know why. Uh, Nagong is not a very fun unit to use. Nagong is a unit for arena defense. That's about it. He's a, he's a defense unit. He's not a fun toy to play with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He can be effective sometimes, but he's not a super fun toy. Um... He also, since he's a reviver, high resistance. Anything that revives and cleanses uh, gets good resistance. And then just make him fast and tanky. So super, super, super tanky. Look at him. He's a triple HP uh, from the looks of it. Crazy tanky uh, with speed. Yeah, and Nemesis is also fairly standard on Nagong as well. Uh, and then damage received from anything is going to be very OP on him. So there you go. There you go, Nagong runes. Isis! Easy cheat code for arena offense, easy cheat code for TOA hard, uh, easy cheat code for everything. Anything that has passives, Isis just absolutely demolishes. I mean, she doesn't kill things with passives, but she negates them, right? Because she's got skill 3 AoE Oblivion and Silence too. So this is just on speed, HP, HP. It's not anything too crazy. You want good, because uh, she's just a support unit, you also do want good accuracy on her too. Um, could be better accuracy on this, but yeah, Isis, super OP. Uh, there was a match in SWC, it was SWC, right? That wasn't the Legend term, it was SWC. Uh, where just Isis got brought in and just like, it was like just over so fast. Absolutely, absolutely brutal. It was fantastic. I was like, I see, I keep telling you guys that she's so much better than you realize she is. 
Uh, AoE Oblivion, guys. AoE Oblivion. Anyway, and she's base she's a TLA hard cheat. For all the hardest floors of that. You have no problem with that. Uh, so Jaeger has been more popular in the past few seasons. Uh, after his buff to his passive. Uh, and he's just bruiser. Tech or damage, HP. Actually, I'm surprised to see him on revenge. So just fat, just a uh, tanky bruiser, basically. Fairly similar to some of the other bruisers, like the wind monkey and things like that. Basically, like uh, tanky bruiser, like this and the wind monkey. Anytime people say tanky bruiser, like that's that's what you want to go for as far as stats. Um, so this is counterattacks with 30% chance when you get attacked. So that's why I'm surprised to see the revenge runes on him. That's that's why I said that. Uh, and then we have my personal probably. I wanted Gianna the most for a long time, and T Online was usually a second. I'm starting to think maybe I want T Online more. This guy is just this guy's made legends. You pull T Online and then you just you are legend. You are legend contender. It's yeah. Anyway, uh, just fast, good accuracy, generally on either despair or violent. Right? So there is the stats for that. Actually, the accuracy could be better on that, but yeah. Um, he is on despair. Speed, HP, HP. Fairly standard for T-Online to be speed, HP, HP. Uh, I would like a little bit more accuracy on him, but he's pretty fast on despair. So uh, there you go. Laura! I actually got asked a decent amount about Laura. So this is a Laura build. So now you guys can stop asking me. Speed crit damage, HP, just f uh, on uh, Despair as well uh, for that, because she has a strip. Uh, remove one beneficial effect, uh, increase the defense of all allies. So also you got to think about like where to use Laura and what to use Laura with. Um, so keep that in mind, but just fast and Despair. She's a, she's a stripper, she's standard stripper stuff. Just fast, Despair, good accuracy. I do Praha uh, with Despair as well. Some people do. Again, like I mentioned earlier, some people do Violent Will on Praha. I like Despair because I'm old. I'm a boomer. I have a boom boomer Praha. Okay, let's go for Pontos. Pontos actually is slower than I realized he was going to be. Uh, I was expecting him to be faster. I wonder if he's on Nemesis. Be curious. Because uh, I haven't actually seen too many Pontos builds lately, so this is going to be new for me too. Uh, but it looks like he's probably just on... Is he on just Violent? Very tanky. Very tanky, yeah. Speed, uh, nope. HP, HP, defense. I was going to say speed, HP, but no. Uh, there you go. Super tanky. On Violent Will. Interesting. I, th I thought it was going to be a little bit faster. But uh, he's plenty fast on, on, on no speed on slot 2. He's pretty fast, actually. So what are, the, what are the subs? Let me take a look at the subs again. 30, oh, 31 sub, 30 sub. Yeah, 27 sub, 20 sub, 13 sub. That sub's not really that great. But uh, you got a couple 30s in there. So uh, then for her, she's generally just violent. And I eh, see some violent revenge things on here usually. Uh, fast, tanky, good accuracy. That's about it. So, uh, Violent Will, Speed, HP, HP. Fairly cut and dry. Fairly cut and dry support unit. She doesn't really do too much damage. Unless she Violent procs 13 times, and in that case, she could just kill anything, right? And then she resets her Violent counter with skill uh, 2. No, skill 3. Skill 3. So, uh, then we have Lima. Oh my god. I'm just talking and talking and talking and talking. You guys go look at the Lima runes. You don't need me for anything. There's the Lima runes. It's seven up today, guys. That's why I'm tired. It's invisible. Invisible seven up. Okay, so she is on despair and will. Speed HP HP. There we go. For that, she's got a strip with skill too, that's why. Generally things that have AoE strips, not quite Tiana, right? <laughs> not because Tiana doesn't actually hit anything, so she can't despair uh, proc. But attacks all enemy. Didn't someone use Despair Tiana? Like this week that we hit in some video? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is a strip over there. Excuse me, and decrease attack speed. So, yeah. 
Uh, and then we have Lauren, so it looks like she's probably, yep. Well, I was going to say it looks like she's probably on Violent Revenge, but uh, her being plus 155. Also, you want to make her, you just want to make her fast with good accuracy. You could do Swift on her, you could do Violent on her. It's up to you. Right? Revenge also works nice on her as well. Can be kind of annoying if she revenge procs. <laughs> you try to hit one, uh, Lauren, and she revenge procs. Friend, usually at this level of the game, at this level of uh, player quality, uh, usually I see faster, like at least 20 speed faster. So, speed, oh, that's uh, that's why. So generally, here's, here's my thing with defense on slot four for uh, slot six for Lauren. Fran, for fr how many times did I do that already this video? I think that I did it zero, but it probably was like 40. Uh, so, I like to do speed HP HP on. Speed HP HP on her. Violent will. I'm going to bed. Seriously, I'm going to bed. Speed HP HP. Um, she has low base defense. 461 base defense. So, a defense on here, 63%, is really not going to do that much for her. It's better to have the defense in the artifacts. Attack is not bad in artifacts either. But I'd rather have the attack percentage in the percentage stats and the defense... Uh, in the artifacts since she's going to gain more from attack percentage than defense percentage um, Just based on her base stats, right? So I like to go speed H uh, speed. Yeah speed HP HP with attack and subs attack percentage and subs defense percentage and subs speed and subs HP and subs uh, and then Defense on artifact that that's my preferred build for her uh, Asima looks like she's not finished, but I would go speed for damage attack on her. This is not really that great for an Asima. He should donate it to one of you guys if he's not going to use it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, so Asima generally on just very fast speed for damage tech with some accuracy and subs and crit rate and subs and, you know, the, the usual stuff and subs. Right, usual fast DPS unit subs. Uh, this one, again, same thing. Basically, I would do either Swift or Rage on her. Um... Keep in mind that sometimes she gets, speaking from experience, she can get faster than your Galleon and your Strippers pretty easily with 120 base speed. So, uh, yeah, you got to make everything else on your team even faster. Uh, but yeah, speed crit damage attack because she does damage based on her speed uh, over here. So, yeah, she does a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of damage. Speed crit damage attack, either Rage, Fatal, Swift. Um, just make her fast, give her a lot of... You don't have to worry about the accuracy, resistance, HP, defense, none of that. Just speed for damage attack, get good crit rate, get good crit damage, and just DPS stats, right? Uh, this guy, Volantis. So I use him on my Europe server account. I get questions about this guy, too. Uh, I like to do, again, he's a stripper, right? So I like to do despair. He's got two AoEs. Wow, he didn't even, maybe this is new. Not even skilled up, bro. Um, I like to do... Uh, despair very very fast as fast as I possibly can uh, on despair. I think I might want to switch to crit damage uh, So he is currently a speed HP HP, but I think I'm gonna switch to uh, speed crit damage HP Because he does uh, he does decent th these guys generally do decent enough damage on crit damage that you can consider like Bellinus does a lot of damage on crit damage Tyrannus does a lot of damage on crit damage um the Dark One, Pater, does a lot of damage on crit damage. He's an, an HP-based bruiser as well. Uh, Volantis, I think, does... Volantis and Abelio do less damage than the other ones on crit damage. But, uh, especially with Bellinus passive, it's just it's, uh, crit damage too. But I still think that maybe crit damage might be the better way to go. But I just do mine on Despair. Um, very fast. Uh, you know, decent enough accuracy. But mine is speed HP HP right now. I'm probably going to go speed crit damage HP. Um, just switch it over as soon as I can get uh, some good enough runes on it. Uh, this guy, Bering, usually people run him uh, just very, very, very fast. Um, really just anything that makes him fast, give him good accuracy. You, you could do speed HP accuracy, you could do speed attack accuracy. He has continuous damage, so you could just do damage through here. So it, you could actually make him speed HP accuracy, accuracy just like 300 speed, or however fast you can make him. Um, for this, this strips and silences, uh, and then you can use his, like, as, as far as getting damage out of him, you can get the damage from the continuous damage and the additional damage artifacts, right? So if you have additional damage, this is a triple hit, 
um, can do some decent additional damage uh, artifacts. So keep that in mind. This one, I've seen different builds for her. I've seen Despair, uh, Speed HP HP, Triple HP, Despair Will. I think more people doing Despair nowadays than anything else. Um, you just need to make her fast and tanky. She doesn't really need any attack power. She doesn't really need... I mean, defense is okay on her. Resistance is okay on her. She doesn't need accuracy. Just fast and tanky. A lot of HP. Because she does damage based on her missing... Uh, not her missing HP. She does damage based on her 50% uh, of your max HP. So you just need her to be fast to get a turns. Right? To get a turns? To get turns! And then... She doesn't even... She's classified wrong. She's classified an attack type unit. She's not an attack type unit. She's an HP type unit. Um, typical comp to us. So, uh, yeah, she just, this is kind of irrelevant, you don't, uh, to, to have damage from this, you don't really need to worry about that, it's just a little heal, right? Uh, so you just want to make her fast and tanky. So, yep, despair, speed, HP, HP. But again, you can actually get decent, uh, decent enough speed. I've seen her on Swift, too, weirdly enough. I've seen her on all kinds of things. Generally, HP, 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 uh, with speed and subs is usually how I see her built. But I have seen the despair on her with the with this. She gets another turn after this if it kills something. So you just want to make her tanky enough to actually kill something. 9885 base HP is not the greatest, but yeah. Uh, then we have the bait. So th oh man, yelling in the microphone. Sorry. Uh, so the bait looks like he is HP per damage HP on here with speed and subs. He's basically just a bruiser, right? So HP per damage HP, violent will, speed and subs. Etc. Etc. Uh, this girl, I tried her on 300 speed too. I was, I, it, she, she's not reliable enough to ignore defense on 300 speed, but the game plan was for her to one-shot things with this ignore defense because she's got a good multiplier too. But it's just random. Sometimes it'll do it. Sometimes it won't. Kind of like the uh, kung fu girl, right? So, and she's got crazy base speed. Just attack or damage attack on rage or fatal for her, generally speaking. Um, it also helps to have some kind of debuffers go before her, if possible, if you're going to use her for dungeons or something like that. Because uh, it increases the chance by 15% for each harmful effect granted on the enemy. So, just a little extra. It doesn't need a defense break, necessarily, because she already ignores defense. But um, she does quite a lot of damage with that. When it actually activates, she does a significant amount of damage. You can do crazy, crazy damage uh, if both of them ignore defense. You can kill anything. Um, then we have better. So just a little FYI on that. Just fatal or rage, attack or damage, attack, speed and subs, crit rate and subs, attack and crit damage and subs. Uh, squishy and nuker. Uh, better, so she's usually ruined for violent will. Just speed, HP, HP. She's good, good resistance too. Uh, she's a uh, reviver, so... Does he have resi- no, he does not have resistance. I was questioning, I was like, does he actually have resistance on slot, uh, slot 6? But, uh, no. He's just got resistance and subs, but it makes sense. Anything that's a reviver or cleanser, you want a decent resistance on. Oh my god, we're almost done. I think we're almost done, guys. I think we're almost done. Now we get crazy. Now it gets to crazy levels. Not that good accuracy on him, though. So this is 323 speed for Woonsa. Just fast and tanky. Speed, HP, HP. Just fast and tanky. Look at that. He can even make it faster, too. If we take a look at this versus some of his other uh, runes that he's got, he can make this actually tank, uh, actually faster. Uh, then we have Nikki, who apparently he does not like. <laughs> uh, I've seen the people that I see using Nikki are using her as like a shield will cleave bruiser team. Uh, not, not bruiser, but shield, kind of bruiser, but shield will cleave team. Is generally how I see Nikki, uh, Nikki built. So, she's got this. I feel like this would be great with additional damage artifacts, too. But, uh, yeah, I will take, a, I'll take Countess, I'll take a Nikki if you want to give me one. Do some, uh, lovely, lovely content on Nikki. Countess is like, you don't even use your Alexandria. So, we're not gonna, and we showed you how good, uh, she is by making you lose against her. So, we're not gonna give you a Nikki. <sighs> okay. So, this one, uh, Bruiser. Kind of like Jaeger. We saw the Jaeger build. Basically the same thing. Uh, he's on Vampire. Attack, crit damage, HP. I actually see more of these on Violent nowadays than Vampire. Right? But he is on Vampire. So, uh, again, with this one, with uh, also with Leo, 
Vampire was kind of like an older build. Now people have started to go more violent. So just keep that in mind. Then we have uh, Lydia. So Lydia actually is, in my opinion, actually not even in my opinion. She's very hard to rune because she needs a lot of stats overall. Uh, she basically needs everything. I also think that actually she needs decent enough resistance. Um, which I've learned from... I have one on my Asia server account. We don't usually do videos with her. But... She's hard to rune, man. She's hard to rune. We should do a turn two Shilwa Cleave team. Uh, she gets extra... Um, she, she's basically like a rubber band, right? The enemies do damage to your team. And then she like stores that and says, F you. you she's kind of like Christina, but better because she's LD. But basically that's, uh, that's what it is. That's what it is there. So she does this big, huge burst damage and just nuke the whole team down. Um, if she's charged up with uh, your team getting hit. Uh, so anyway, she is Devil Nemesis Will. Double Nemesis Will. Uh, that's kind of a standard kind of thing for her. Uh, there's other builds for her instead of just Double Nemesis Will. You can do Rage, you can do just... She just needs a lot of stats. She needs to kind of cut and kill things or resist and be tanky enough to not die so that she gets a turn and obliterates the team. But she needs to survive that. So she definitely, absolutely needs... Like, you see she's a attack type unit, but he didn't really ruin her with that much attack. She gets charged up by her passive, basically. So again, you just need... You want good crit damage on her, right? Good crit rate, good crit damage. You want her to get enough speed to, to take a turn. Um, and then you want uh, HP. And then also uh, damage... Uh, crit damage received and damage received from all these different things. Uh, speed on ability, damage received from fire, damage received from dark. Crit damage received minus... Yeah. And skill one crit damage. So it's not as the greatest... Uh, artifact that could be on her. I would try to do crit damage received and damage received from whatever different elements uh, as much as possible. Um, but yeah, double nemesis will is, a, is definitely a build for her. But it's, it's, she just needs a lot of stats, so it's kind of hard to ruin her. Uh, then we have Han. <gasps> 90% crit rate, guys. 90% crit rate, 15% accuracy. Is he missing a rune? He's not missing a rune. Oh, I feel like he should be better, actually. He should be faster. He should have more accuracy. Because uh, it's not even a 100% chance to land with that skill 3 with the defense break. So, and he needs more crit rate. Uh, so let me explain why. 50% chance to stun the enemy here. Uh, each attack. Right? That's fine. Uh, four consecutive times. Each attack having a 50% chance to weaken defense for two turns. Attack bar increased by 25% for each attack that lands a critical hit. So you don't quite cycle fully if he's not 100% crit rate. Kind of like Diana. So I would kind of disagree with the build on here because I think that he needs, uh, from having him, I know that he needs to be a little bit faster, more accuracy, 100% crit rate. So that's my, uh... yeah, I would, um... you don't even need as much, he doesn't even need as much attack on here. More crit rate, more accuracy, more speed. The biggest thing is the one that he needs the least of. Right? Right. Could be better, but uh, yeah. Anyway, there we go for that. Now we're on to the uh, double, double Giannis. Double Giannis, guys. Because one isn't enough. He's got to have double Giannis. Okay. First Gianna. Crazy, 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 crazy roots. So, plus 210. 310 speed Gianna. Right? And we do we do stuff music, okay. I'm getting, getting late, I'm getting crazy, guys. So swift will, speed, crit rate, and HP. There we go. Look at those runes, look at those stats. So fat, so so juicy. Thick Gianna. Uh, skill one crit damage, skill two accuracy, skill three accuracy. Important to have those. Uh, additional damage by 0.1% of HP. Additional, more additional damage would be great on her, actually, though. That's, that's I guess, my critique for this Gianna. She's a fantastic Gianna. She's one of the best that there is. Uh, until we get to the second one. But additional, extra additional damage um, would make her even better. So second, and she's got good crit rate for cycling more. Which is kind of annoying. And then the accuracy. Plus he's got accuracy and artifacts too. Second Gianna time. Yeah. <laughs> As if the first one wasn't toxic enough. He's got another one. 
at 310 speed. Seriously, look at that. Look at that. You thought the first one was good. He's got another one just as good. So, well, maybe less because it doesn't have uh, Wolverines. But yes, yeah, speed card HP. You're just raging at the screen right now, aren't you? Look at that 32 speed sub. This one's got a lot of additional damage. Look at that. Quick damage, skill 3 accuracy. So. There you go. Two Giannas at 310 speed. Disgusting. Okay, so here's Fermion. Again, another one that I've gotten asked about. Uh, you guys, wh Where are you guys getting all these LD5s that you guys keep popping into my stream and ask me how to ruin all these LD5s? Seriously. I'm, but this is great because I can just point you guys here to this video. Oh, I'm so smart. Sometimes. So, uh, speed, crit damage, uh, defense. I mean, kind of st kind of similar to how uh, Bella Joel is ruined, right? Speed, crit damage, defense. Uh, and then this one, he also has a passive that reduces the amount of damage that he takes. But he does damage based on his defense. He's got the same second skill as Velagil, uh, right? And then he's got this passive. Damage you receive decreases more allies survive, and the damage you inflict increases more allies die. The enemy you attack will be provoked for one turn. So provoke with revenge is actually really nice just in general, right? He also gets, excuse me, a benefit to his crit rate uh, when he is awakened, which is nice, which makes him easier to rune as a DPS unit. So... Uh, there you go. Nice bruiser, but a defense-based bruiser. You should kind of ruin him. I was going to say you kind of ruin him like Feng Yan, but you don't ruin him like Feng Yan. He needs to be fast with defense. Uh, not too fast. Generally just defense, crit damage, defense, speed, crit damage, defense. Um, there you go. Defense-based bruiser. So then we have Sun Zeng Lao. So Sun Zeng Lao is looking like he is... That could be just speed and subs here. Actually, the accuracy is not that great. Accuracy could be better, because he needs accuracy for all three of his skills. So that would be the, the critique on here, but he's got 40,000 HP. He's an HP bruiser unit. Um, he's got the crit damage. Actually, I've seen a better one on... Uh, What's his face account? Oh my god, I'm so tired right now, I can't think of anything. But we did a video on his account. But yeah, uh, HP, crit damage, HP, but he can get really nasty with his, uh, I feel like he should definitely be faster uh, with more accuracy. So, and he could sacrifice some HP for that. I would, I, I, I would do speed, crit damage, uh, HP with accuracy, a little bit more accuracy than subs, if, if it was me. Uh, then we have Jara, which... Let's face it, he's probably not using Jara all that much, aside from, like, the light Rift Beast. So, Jara is, uh, I'm sorry, Jara owners. Attack or damage attack, fairly standard. Not getting used too much. Light Rift Beast, probably, and, uh, some Guild Siege stuff. Probably, that's about it. Probably not too much stuff. Trinity! Again, probably not being used too much. Um, I feel like Trinity I would just use either as a Fight Rune Holder... Or, oh, sorry, Trinity Orders, or like Speed Crew Damage Attack. Really shouldn't even be an HP unit, to be honest. Should not be an HP, she's a DPS unit. She shouldn't be an HP tank. That's not the right classification. It's taken them seven years, almost seven years, to still not get it right. So, um, yeah, I'd probably just do Speed Crew Damage Attack. But she's not going to do that much damage. And people have refer people have mentioned this to me before, they're like, Oh, uh, if you had Trinity, because I said I would use Trinity, right? If, if I had her. And they were like, what if you had Trinity and Samoth? Which one would you use more? I was like, Samoth. <laughs> I use Samoth more. Wait, generally, I would, I would go speed crit damage attack for Trinity. Um, not HP. I, I, I wouldn't go HP tanky or anything. That's just my personal thing. Um, I would use her as a DPS, even though she's not classified as a DPS. But... Maybe they'll fix it one day, three years from now. Uh, this guy, Mananananan, I think he actually needs to be way faster. I think he needs to be speed crit damage tech. Uh, maybe on violent, maybe on swift. He's clearly not doing it like that, but um, I think he actually needs to be way faster. You know what? Uh, I would check out, if you guys want to see some Mananananan stuff, I would check out Thompson. Uh, I think Thompson is streaming again. I don't know how often, but... Thompson28 on Twitch. But anyway, 
Uh, then we have Zeratu. My brain is just mush, guys. We're just gonna take a look at these. HP grow, HP grow damage to HP, so this is a Bruiser Zeratu. Usually you see him a little bit more attack, less Bruiser, but this one is a Bruiser Zeratu. Could be pretty dangerous, actually. He's still gonna do a lot of damage because he just hits so many times. So, yeah, there we go. Bruiser Zeratu, HP grow damage to HP. Uh, you can go, you can go for more attack though. If you have a Zeratu and you're wondering how to do it, um, you can go for like speed or damage attack. You don't, you don't have to go Bruiser Zeratu. This is like a siege defense kind of build. So that's 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 what this is. Uh, we did we did a video on siege defenses not too long ago, like a week or two ago for the Legend tournament. Um, and we actually do every every Legend tournament so far, those Siege Legend tournaments. Um, and you can see what bases Zeratu's in. This is a this is a defense uh, Zeratu build for Siege defense. That's what this is. So uh, then we have Kraka, 100% resistance. She's again she's a reviver, so that's why you see a lot of resistance on her. Uh, and then you see some speed and some HP, speed HP HP. Looks like he doesn't have his one of his best rune sets on her, uh, but he was just going for tanky good uh resistance and that's about it then we have Ying, the dark panda so lots of so it's attack or damage is it attack or damage hp or attack or damage attack with hp subs could go either way really feels more like attack or damage attack with hp subs to be honest and then definitely not speed on slot two look at that not a lot of speed probably violent will yep so attack crit damage attack just like that, just like a, uh, not not a really, kind of like a bruiser though, kind of like a bruiser, but less tanky of a tanky bruiser, you know what I mean? But still in a, in a tanky bruiser spectrum, you can do a little bit less uh, attack on him. Kind of like, again, kind of like the Jaeger, kind of like the monkey, just a tanky bruiser. You see some of these are built kind of similar, right? So, there you go. Uh, and then we have Grogan, who is not ruined. So he was gonna go for attack, crit damage attack, I guess with the Grogan. I would do for a Grogan probably speed crit damage attack for arena offense. That's all I would use him for is arena offense. Speed crit damage attack. Uh, either fatal or rage or violent. So. Uh, and then we have Leona. So interesting thing for Leona, 100% resistance. So that she can resist uh, bombs, she can resist defense breaks. 100% resistance, Leona. But yeah, you just want to stack a lot of defense on Leona, right? So she is, uh, take a look at her passive. Very annoying, very annoying. Uh, revenge, also, yeah, revenge is fairly standard on Leona. Resistance on slot, okay, that's one way to get, uh, I wouldn't go this far as to do resistance on slot six. I would go defense, crit damage, defense, try to get speed and subs and crit and subs and resistance and subs. Uh, or speed crit damage, either defense crit damage defense or speed crit damage defense. Again, fairly similar to Fermion, fairly similar to Valajul is what I would do for her. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to put resistance on slot six, but that's just me. I don't have a Leona, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, then we have Mukwal. So Mukwal is just a uh, ruined as a support, looks like. Speed HP HP, just as a support. He has a cleanse and threat state, right? Move harmful effect, ramp on all the allies, select the target, go into threat state. Um, I see some people liking to do him with, uh, like, the wind. Um, well, he, he's kind of interesting to use in a team with, like, Revenge on Vertiheel and Wind uh, Sniper and Diana in there sometimes, Wind Monkey in there sometimes. Uh, interesting. I did see people enjoying using Mukwal with uh, Wind Sniper, though. So that started in... Was it 20 stars specially is when that started? But yeah. Oh my god, we are almost done, guys. Holy crap. Uh, Varisa, so she should be fast with good accuracy uh, on either Swift or Despair, because she's got a strip on skill tree. She's got a strip and uh, glancing and attack power break. So there we go for that one. Fat, you, could, uh, you could do... I don't know how much damage she actually does for crit damage, so I don't want to say do crit damage on her if she doesn't really do that much damage. You can do speed, HP, accuracy. You can do speed, crit damage, HP with accuracy. You can do speed, crit damage, attack with uh, accuracy. You just want to make her fast with good accuracy. That's that's mainly the thing, either swift or despair. Um, I'm going to have to get back on to, uh, back to you on the... Did we do a video on how to run play dancers? I think we did. 
So refer to that video. <laughs> Just tell, doing a video, an hour-long video of telling people to go watch my other videos. Typical bagel. Uh, oh my god, this guy. Jogun. <sighs> Good old Jogun. How would I ruin him? Would I ruin his speaker damage HP? Probably. Probably violent will speaker damage HP. My brain is fried, guys. I apologize, but at this point, my brain is fried, and I'm just ready to fall asleep. I have had no caffeine in days. I'm ready to fall asleep. My brain is fried. I'm trying to say things. I've actually... Have I even played with Jogun at all? Have I even done a video with Jogun? I don't... I Maybe, maybe once. Maybe not at all. I think maybe, maybe once. Maybe one video for, like, 30 minutes or whatever with Jogun. Um... But yeah, uh, I would probably go. I would probably go speed or damage uh, HP screen, speed or damage attack. He does actually still need a t uh, accuracy though. So probably the same as Shung Pung. A lot of stats. Yeah, actually, that's that's probably exactly what I would do. Is the same as Shung Pung with a lot of stats, speed, and accuracy, and crit rate, and crit damage, and attack. Even though it says support, I probably wouldn't for a DPS unit, because he's just an, more of an aggressive unit. This doesn't do any damage, or I'm sorry, this doesn't do any damage. This does do damage. Uh, and increase attack power as well, but uh, I would probably run for that. You could also do him for uh, for R5. He's got a nice leader skill for R5, so I don't have one now. I wanted one, but I don't have one. Maybe I should spend more money. Uh, Christina is kind of a slow, tanky bruiser cleave kind of thing. Similar to Lydia. Doesn't need to be on Nemesis, though. Uh, probably Rage Will to be honest, for Christina. Uh, and and she's an attack type unit, but she also does need some a pretty good amount of tankiness, though. Uh, she does need a pretty good amount of tankiness, because if you put her on a def uh, not, de not defense, if you, ma if you make a shield will uh, cleave offense with her, she's going to get hit by whatever fire threats they have on defense. That's kind of the issue with Christina, of why, why people aren't using her, is because... Fire, if Pern is on defense, Pern of Violent Prox, he's going to kill her. It doesn't even matter if she's got, like, defense broken or anything. So she needs to have enough damage to kill things, but she also needs to have enough tankiness to survive, which is kind of an issue for Christina, because shield will, like, turn two wind units. You got to be tanky, because if there's fire threats everywhere, because Lucian exists. That's why there's fire threats everywhere. So turn two wind unit is... That's that's why she's not a thing. That's why she's not more usable, because she's a turn two wind unit. So, she was doomed just by being that, regardless of her skills. Um, but yeah, I'd probably go Rage Will. Uh, then we have Carnal. So I would go for Carnal. I would go either... Uh, Revenge is not bad on him, because he's got a Provoke over here. And then if he Revenges, he could Provoke again. He provoke it. He, uh, or you could also go for uh, Focus, or you could go for Will. If you're going to use him for... Uh, PvP, you can go for a will. I like to do uh, either speed HP HP, uh, speed HP accuracy, speed crit damage HP, because uh, he does need some good accuracy because all of his skills require accuracy. He does need some good speed. His base speed is not that good. I do like the unit, actually. I do like the unit. I would go, again, fast, tanky, decent accuracy, crit rate, crit damage. He doesn't do a crazy amount of crit rate, crit damage, uh, cr crazy amount of damage with uh, crit damage. But he does a little bit more, you know. He, uh, so if you do need extra damage, there is that. But, uh, yeah, I would just make him fast and tanky. Fast, tanky, good HP for, for the most part. That's what I would do for him. Uh, Bellinus, again, same thing. Speed, crit damage, uh, HP with good accuracy over there. Uh, probably Violent Will, right? Because he does a lot. Bellinus does a lot of damage, too. That's the thing. Uh, he's got this. Text all enemies, weakens their attack power for two turns. Using Druid form, weakens defense of all enemies. Provoke beef form to provoke all enemies. Um, so it's a few debuffs, right? few debuffs. Uh, and then he has Nature of Beast. Uh, increase your attack power by 100%. Damage increases 10% for each harmful effect grant any enemy when you attack. Counter attacks with 50% chance when you're attacked. Crit damage is so beautiful on him. He does a lot of damage. A lot, a lot, a lot of damage. So you just make him, like, speed crit damage HP make him make him tank like that uh if you're doing shield will there are certain shield will teams you may want to just go like hp damage hp uh instead of the speed but generally i like to do speed crit damage hp for this guy uh violent will uh oh my god there's more monsters 
Why are there more bosses? Uh, I've actually seen him uh, lately used on Vampire Attack Redemption Attack with HP and subs. That's kind of the thing that I've been more seeing lately. Um, I haven't seen some of the RTA builds, what specifically they look like, but for uh, for generally, for general use for him, I've seen uh, Vampire, like Vampire Blade, Vampire Will, Vampire Revenge, whatever. He already does kind of revenge, though. That's kind of the thing. So, but I have seen revenge on him. Um, but yeah, just Vampire Attack, Renamber Attack. You want him to be as high attack as possible, but you also, he's going to get hit sometimes. So, because he's kind of a turn two unit. Uh, so you do want to have some HP on him as well. So he's kind of just a tanky bruiser unit, but you do need a lot more attack power than a normal tanky bruiser. So you got to go attack or damage attack, because, I mean, he's, he needs to do damage, so crit damage, right? But you got to go attack, uh, and then just try to get the HP and subs. So, yeah, attack or damage attack, vampire, maybe like vamp will, uh, and then HP and subs. And then for this one, for Zhu, uh, no runes. Don't, don't worry about ruining that. Anyway, oh my god, it's such a long video. I, I apologize for my brain just melting, <laughs> like, all the way through it. I've just been talking and talking and talking and talking, and I had a headache for, like, hours now, and no caffeine. That's probably why I have a headache, is no caffeine. So, anyway, hopefully it helps some of you. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Otherwise, I'm just talking for no reason. Um... <sighs> So anyway, that's it for this one. That's uh, Diligent's account. I forgot whose account we even on in this one. <laughs> Season 8 Legend. Uh, currently rank 5 at the time that I'm recording this. But anyway, that's it for this one. Again, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, this way I can reference it to anyone that asked me on different rune builds for different things. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you as always in... I'm going to go sleep now. I'll see you guys as always in the next one.